opened the main entrance of the palace for you to enter and find your way to this second gate. Eh? Why are you disturbing the royal family with your presence? Omenka, please, I'm here to see the prince. Hmm? Yes. Listen, you cannot see the prince. Why? Why can't I see him? Or isn't he inside? Prince Desmond is right inside the palace. But you cannot see him. No, you can't. Okay, why? I mean, why so? Why can't... Because there's a standing order from him not to allow you or anything that looks like you come close to the main gate of the royal palace, let alone gaining access into this place. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Um, I know. I, I know he said that to you. I believe you. But trust me, he said all that out of vexation hmm? and anger. Yes, he was upset with me. Yeah. Well, let me say he is upset with me. Mm. I, I, I did something very bad that pissed him off. And that's why I have come to personally and officially apologize to him. I am sorry. Omeka, please. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Make no mistake. Don't, don't, don't try it. Do not apologize to me because I am not Prince Desmond. Don't say sorry to me. I don't need it. Please, go home. The prince does not like you. Why are you constantly killing yourself? Why are you killing yourself over a man that does not want you? He does not like you. Look, Omenka, I am trying so hard to be calm here, okay? Mm. I am talking to you thinking you're a reasonable human being. Oh. Please do not make me think otherwise. In all you do, make sure you do not insult me because I'm not going to take it. I am not reasonable, right? Fine! I understand, no problem. Listen, the truth they say is bitter. But Omenka Honanya one will always say it. Let me tell you. Allow the prince to concentrate and plan his marriage with the beautiful maiden that he has decided to marry. Please. What? Sorry, what, what did you just say? <laughs> you you said are surprised. Maiden? You are surprised. You see the thing? I knew it. You're surprised. I told you the prince does not love you. Allow him to concentrate and marry the beautiful and well-mannered young maiden from this kingdom that he has decided to marry. Did you say the prince is getting married? Are listen, you... listen. Go home and allow the prince to concentrate. Like, concentrate and look into the big picture to plan his wedding very well. Please. Do not disturb this royal family again with your presence. Are you serious about this? He's getting married to a maiden in this village. Get inside where, your where car and it, go where, home. Where is the maiden from? Who is she? Can you tell me? Like, tell what do you want to do with that information? Just tell me. Go home. Go oh. home. Omeka, Omeka, hold on. Omeka, where is the maiden? Tell me, please. Where is she from? Is she from here? Omeka. Ask the gods. Your Highness, I really want to thank you for finding me worthy to be your daughter-in-law. Honestly, I didn't see it coming. Oh, Lord, Ma. Ma. You don't have to thank me. I believe it has already been ordained by Chukwokike. Now tell me, how are you preparing? Well, everything is going on fine. Just a few things to be put in place and that's all. Okay. Honestly, I can't wait to have you in this palace as my daughter-in-law. <laughs> Same here, Ma. I can't wait to be your daughter-in-law. I promise to make you proud. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Ma. Um, Amanda! Amanda! Yes, Your Majesty. Tell my son that his wife-to-be is still waiting. As it pleases your majesty. <laughs> I to take drink. I don't know. I'm okay, ma. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 
my love. The gods have finally decided to smile at us. I am lost. What are you trying to say? Ah, you don't need to be lost, okay? Uh, let me go straight to the point. Prince Desmond, my older brother, has decided to get married. Yes. As a matter of fact, the first stage of the marital rite will be taking place a day after tomorrow. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Very serious. Wow. So finally, he has decided to say goodbye to Bachelorhood. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know what that means? <clears throat> that we'll be getting ready for us. <laughs> Wait, I don't, I don't even know what to say, but <laughs> are you serious about this? Oh, come on. I am very, very sure. And guess what? Mm. I can't wait to make you my wife. And I can't wait to be your wife. At least my parents will know that I didn't waste my time waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, baby. Come here. <laughs> Father, I'm fine. Um, please, if you don't mind, I, I would like to ask you a question. Go ahead. Um, Father, is the prince getting married soon? What prompted this question? I mean, why, why are you asking me that? Father, am I not from this kingdom? Or don't I deserve to know what is happening in my kingdom? I'm just asking because I, I, I want to know. Is he getting married anytime soon? The prince is getting married soonest. And who is the maiden? I mean, where is she from? Is she, is she from this kingdom? You know her, right? Why are you suddenly asking me these questions? Wait. Or are you planning to attack this maiden? Father. Father, come on. I'm an attacker. I'm just asking because I'm, I mean. Don't try anything stupid. Else, you will face the consequences. She do not see where is it. The son of Ozo Ozondo. A noble man of this great kingdom. I still want to greet you once more. But it is so disheartening that on a very important day like this, with the prince of this kingdom and the royal entourage, you now prevented us from entering your compound by barricading us with a royal uh, uh, local or more, uh, it is a slap on the royal family. So, why are you preventing us from entering your compound? Anu and the cheers, I greet you. No, no, no. Anu, I am very sure you know the meaning of what you are seeing. Of course. However, I will still go ahead to clear the air. Prince Desmond Alaribe can no longer marry my daughter. No, 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 Iche Donatus. I hope this is not a joke. Iche, I am not joking. I mean what I am saying. I am more than serious. Real embarrassment. Iche, Iche Donatus. You have already caused uh, havoc that made the prince to, to recall inside the car out of anger. Please, could you tell us the, the reason behind the office? Since you are here, and you want to know, I will tell you. The life of my daughter 
and my family are in a serious danger. Let me go ahead to tell you. Some unknown gunmen kidnapped my daughter, took her to a very far and lonely place. As if that was not enough, they threatened to kill her. They warned her strictly to stay away from Prince Desmond or getting married to him. I, Donatus Iweze, the life of my daughter and my entire family are very important to me. I will not want to risk the life of my daughter or any member of my family. All in the name of getting married to the prince. Because they threaten to wipe off the entire family if she goes ahead in getting married to him. And I will not risk it at all. So please, I will advise you get into the car and tell him to stay on his own and leave my daughter alone. Let us be in peace. There are other guests out there. He can go and have one of them. But as for my daughter, Mba, leave me alone and my entire family. Please, goodbye. Hey! Unknown gunmen. Unknown gunmen? Unknown gunmen. Hey! Who is it is in trouble? Unknown gunmen. So, how did it go? <laughs> well, it didn't hold. What didn't hold? Are you... Wait, you're trying to say that the traditional rights didn't hold? They did not do anything. They didn't even enter the girl's compound. The girl's father stopped everything right at the entrance of his compound. He dismissed them right at the entrance of his compound. Wait. Whoa. No, you're, you're joking, right? Mm -mm. This is not true. Are you, are you serious? He didn't let them enter. No. Hey! Um, let me ask you this. Is this an information you got from someone or you were physically present and you saw everything with your eyes? My dear, we saw every single thing that happened from the point where we hid. Everything, oh. Ha. Easy, easy. Calm down. <laughs> Wait. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. I, I mean, th that, that's, that's such a relief. Yeah. You know, um, mm. this is going to avail me the time to, you know, to make amends. Girl, be fast. You tell him be fast. No time. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your Majesty, we all know that Donatus Iweze is a strong man. But the Donatus Iweze that I saw today is twice the size of an ant. You won't believe it. Chai! Hmm. Your Majesty, I hear Taburun Whatever that made Donatus behave the way he behaved today must be very strong. I agree with you. Yes. And now my question is, who are those behind this? Who were the people that kidnapped Oloma? I'm trying her not to marry my son. Exactly the same question I've been asking myself since we left the place. Your Majesty, I think we need to involve the police. Let them investigate thoroughly. Yes. 
on this. So to fish out those that are behind this mayhem. I think that would be the best option. Exactly. Very, very important. Exactly. You have done your worst, right? Is there any other thing you can do right now? Tell me. Dorothy, I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, please don't give me that excuse. Spare me the pretense. You have succeeded in destroying my son's marriage. But I tell you, I just promise you that this is just the beginning. It's just the beginning, not the end of the road. You see, the truth is that I have nothing to do with your so-called son, marriage or whatever it is you call this. I can't stoop so low to do nonsense. Deny it. If I were you, I should concentrate on going out there to look for whoever it is that did whatever it is to pick your son from the so-called marriage you could Just about. deny it. Deny that you did not send people to kidnap Oloma ah. and even threaten to kill her and her entire family if she goes on to marry my, 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 my son. Dorothy, I have no such time. Go and find out those that kidnap. You see, what, what, what business do I have with that, so, that, that thing you call, you call son? That low class good for nothing you call son. That useless thing. I have nothing to do with that boy. I see. You can pretend for all I care. But, Franca, I know you too well. I know you very well. You are the brain behind that ugly act. And let me tell you, you better fix what you spoiled, or you have me to contend with. I have always known that you have no brain. No, your brain is full. So if you have, if you have nothing to do with your time, go somewhere and pray. Your brain is so full. I don't have. Dead stood. <clears throat> what kind of embarrassment is this? Which in huh? What does whoever pulled that stunt aim to achieve? Prince, sir. You see, people do a whole lot of things for so many reasons. I want you to calm down. Did you say calm down, Uchinna? You were there. Did you not feel the embarrassment? You were there. Sure. It was more than an embarrassment. But please, relax. See, I want... Okay, I, I, let, me, let me give this assurance that whoever did that thing must be fished out. When? I ask you, when and how? Huh? Bro, I... I may not have an answer to that question, but I want to assure you that whoever did this thing will never, ever go unpunished. How I wish I can set my eyes on this person. Let me just see this person. Relax. I want you to know that I am with you on this. Okay? I want Franca arrested immediately. And why would you say so? She has a lot to say about what happened today. And you know that. How could you say such a thing? Oh, Franca is evil. Don't you know? Franca is evil. She hates my son and I with passion. So much passion. And you think it's enough reason for her to get herself involved in such a messy situation? Oh, Dorothy, you can do better than this. Are you taking sides with her now? Not really. I know Franca might not be in good terms with you and your son, but that's not enough reason for her to do go this extra mile. What's her gain? Dorothy, tell me, what's her gain? I see. Oh, yes, I see. Always siding her. No problem. Don't just worry. I will handle it myself. No problem. I will handle it myself. So much pain. So much pain. And why is everything falling apart? And I can't take it anymore. So hold 
did I offend? Oi, where did I go wrong? Obonyeka mojinke ya, ya guanamua. My prince, food is served. I'm not hungry. My prince, sometimes we eat not because we are hungry, but because it is somehow necessary. And food is the least of my troubles right now. Not yet. Wallowing in deep sorrow and sadness, we need to change the situation on ground. Not solve the problem, my prince. What happened today happened for a reason. Yet we do not know. I also think that the Creator allowed what happened today to happen for a reason. For what the Creator does not know can never happen. Please, my Prince, I beg you. Think less about what happened today and allow Chukoki Kapiyama to solve the problem. For what will be, must surely be. And it's very confusing to me how a beautiful lady like you would possess such a dark heart, a heart darker than that of the devil. What is wrong with you? And I am trying really, really, really hard to believe you, but the more I try, the more I see reason. Hey, my prince, look, I regret everything I did to Vera. I totally regret it. I am not proud of it. I mean, for any reason in the world, I shouldn't have done that. I regret it. I know that's the reason you find it very difficult to believe that I am innocent on this one. I shouldn't have done that to Vera. Okay? I totally agree. But well, please, I'm not the bad one here. Besides, what I did to Vera is understandable. I, I did it out of love. Yes, I did it out of the love that I have for you. You know it. You know that I love you. And I was fighting. I was fighting for love. That's why I did that. I, look, I am not saying, I'm not trying to say this as an excuse. It is not an excuse whatsoever, okay? But I just need you to at least give me the benefit of the doubt on this one that I am innocent. Okay, fine. Look, I am ready. I'm ready to swear it. I'm ready to swear before Google, before any God that I am innocent. Take me anywhere. Let me swear my innocence. At least if that is what it would take for you to believe me, I don't mind. I don't mind doing anything to prove my innocence to you. Please. It is very important to me that you believe that I am innocent on this. I don't know how else to explain it, but I'm innocent. I'm sorry. Believe me. I didn't do it. I didn't. I didn't do it. My hands are clean. Yeah. I really feel for Princess Mont right now because he is going through a lot. I, I don't understand. Going through a lot simply because ordinary Oloma refused to marry him. I don't get it. What do you even know? Or are you only good at eating food? Please, do not insult me. Mba, she did not insult you. She only asked you a simple question that demands simple answer. How will you open your mouth to utter such words? Listen, Obi. If you really understand the fact that the girl in question Hear me again. The girl in question did not refuse to marry the prince. Rather, she was forced to call off the marriage by people she did not know. Then you will begin to appreciate what Amanda here just said. Mm -hmm. In Ania. Uh -huh. um, um, listen. The mere fact that the Oloma of a girl agreed to cancel the marriage simply because ordinary kidnapper threatened her is enough fact to show us that she never wanted to marry the prince from oh, the Ordinary if you were in her shoes, what would you have done, I ask you? I, what would you have done? I don't understand. 
How can I be in the shoes of ordinary Oloma? Oh, baby, just, just, just shut up. Uh -uh. Just shut up, okay? What is even the color of your stupidity? No, black. Can you hear oh, stupid again? Oh, oh, black. Bia, Bia. No, 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 Oh yes, she only asked you a very vital question that demands a direct and simple answer. Obi, what is the color of your stupidity? Because it is only a very stupid man that will always be seen in the gathering of maidens who are gossiping. What is wrong with you, Obi? Uh, 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 Omenka. You, you know I respect you a lot, but do not insult me. Eh? Listen to me, Obi. You are a very foolish man. You are a very stupid person. Imagine. What, 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 is, what is wrong with you? Nonsense. Eh, 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 uncle and uncle. Sir, sir. For once, I will commend you ladies for a job well done. <laughs> <laughs> While at it, I will implore you maidens to retire to the kitchen where you belong and prepare something good for me to eat because Omenka is very hungry. He said? He said he is very hungry. Go and prepare food.